How's it going, comic book fans? I am Joe from Joe's Comic Talk. So, I got some awesome comments I'm going to showcase for you today. Because I did buy a bunch of Broad Sage and Silver Age comics. So, I'm going to uh, talk about those. But first, I, I want to say thank you for uh, watching my Black Adam review. I am a, I, I am a huge fan of Dwight Johnson uh, or Black Adam as he's portrayed in his movie. I really did like it. And it's a great action uh, comedy movie and from time to time I will be doing uh, my own movie reviews because I do like to go to movies like everybody else and I like to um, watch movies as well so from time to time uh, on my channel I will do I'll do uh, some movie reviews and I will be doing one for Wakanda forever um, when I go see it in a couple weeks so uh, first uh, comic I want to show you guys is the flash number 181 uh, from 1968, so this is a pretty old book, uh, for, is it 55 years old or so, so, uh, pretty awesome, as uh, so, uh, you can see, the Flash is captured by this dude here, the Samurai, uh, I bought this off a Whatnot, uh, auction, it, if you don't know what Whatnot is, it's an auction site app, uh, that does live, live feeds for, for comics or different stuff but i like to buy comics so i did buy this silver awesome silver age uh flash comic here um number 181 with the 12 cent cover price so you know how old it is imagine uh spending 12 cents uh on the com comic way back then but what a fantastic cover i mean just an awesome uh silver age flash yes there is some stress marks some, some wear and tear uh i only paid about five dollars for this comic in about in this condition it's about a 30 to 35 dollar comic so i did get a really good deal i am changing the the way my collection goes now i'm starting to buy more uh silver age and broad chase comics but my bank account does feel it so i am going to have to slow down a little bit but still uh this one came up so i thought why not it was cheap enough i did really have to fight for it so now it's in my collection i don't have a lot of uh, Silver Age Flash comics, so I'm quite uh, happy with it. I'm glad I bought it. I do have another Flash uh, set out for grading and in, in, in the slab, so and it is a key key issue, but still, what an awesome cover this is. Uh, as you can see, there is a little bit of wear and tear. It's about fine condition or five out of ten, so uh, it is still in really good condition. It presents. Uh, really well. So what do you guys think? Do you have Silver Age Flash? Do you not? Uh, do you even collect uh, Silver Age? So, uh, there's a 23-page story in here about uh, the samurai dude uh, catch, catching Barry Allen and uh, Jay Garrett, the, aka Fla the other Flash, uh, comes and rescues uh, Barry Allen and there's a whole bunch of cool adventures. So we get to see uh, Jay Garrick and all of that. So there's also a, a, a space model uh, for the Space Odyssey for kit for one page ad. So there is a couple cool ads in here as well. So, uh, for, but still for a 50 year old comic is presents really nicely and I'm so glad I got it uh, in my collection. So uh, next up is Fantastic Four. Uh, let's see here. Fantastic Four 102, uh, 1970. So, uh, as we see, you, as on the front cover, Neymar is attacking the Fantastic Four and, and the surface people. So, who's behind it? Is it Magneto? Is it not? We do not know. But, yes, it is Magneto. So, uh, Magneto uh, appears outside of X-Men continually and uh, continue and is now uh plotting against the uh, fantastic four he's controlling this guy here neymar uh so it's a pretty cool story but uh, a side note on this one uh neymar and magneto uh meet in x-men number six so way back when uh way before this they've already met once so that's pretty cool and there's also six different reprints of the story of fantastic four number 102 if you don't uh, have this issue. I didn't don't pay attention to this price tag. I did not pay twenty dollars. I only paid a dollar or two for this comic. But yes, there is some wear and tear as you guys can see. 
but, but still it's still in not bad condition as there's lots of tree sparks um stuff like that as you can see the spine's not uh in pretty rough shape so uh i mean yes it's not the best condition but i still give it a five out of ten so it is a um uh pr pretty good i did i do not have this comment that's why i bought it uh unfortunately that he did not the person i bought it from did not have a better high grade coffee so i could not buy it but if it was in a higher grade it would definitely be worth more than twenty dollars and i would have been able to get as cheap as i did so i have been trying to fill in my rugs uh besides getting new 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 issues but uh, uh runs for old marble comments are getting harder to find so when they come out for sale i do try and snag them when i can to uh help fill in my like i say fill in my runs because you do have to find that uh, balance between uh new issues which is this one right here. This is a new issue. The paper's a little more clearer and everything. And Black Adam and The Rock is on the cover of this one. Whereas uh, you can tell like the paper's older. It's a little more brittle. And it, it is what it is. So this is from 1970. So this was even five years before I was even born. So again, it's a very old comment. Not to say I'm old. Haha. But still a uh, fantastic cover. Uh, the comment presents really well. So... I'm going to put it in my run with my Fantastic Four. So next comic I want to show you guys is Fantastic Four number 124, another uh, Bronze Age uh, comic. I believe this is 1972 on the top of my head. Um, again, don't pay attention to this price. I did not pay uh, $20 for it. I pay, I think I paid 2 to $3 uh, for it, but it's still another one I needed uh, for my run. Another Fantastic uh part of the pun uh fantastic cover fantastic four is after this monster here on the cover and there do they say uh save sue storm do they not so it's a full page uh so it's about a uh, i think uh like another 23 page story with a bunch of ads in here so yes in this condition it is evaluated at about 20 dollars but I, uh, but I, I did not pay that because it is an auction, and auctions you can start your comments however, uh, you want it. And he started it out. The guy who I brought it, bought it from started out pretty low. Uh, I re again, I really did have to fight for this one because, uh, yeah, Fantastic Four is uh, really popular, and I'm not the only Fantastic Four collector out there. I am, uh, I am a huge Fantastic Four fan. I. This was one of my first Marvel comics to read uh, way back in the late 80s. So I'm, uh, and unfortunately, I just don't have uh, the, I don't have all the runs. So I'm trying to buy ones that I need to fill in my runs. And that's what we all should strive to do. And, and part of it is the fun of the, uh, the the hunt of the fun, the fun of the hunt, uh, trying to find these issues too, and fight for them. So what do you guys think? Or do you guys collect Fantastic Four? Do you not collect Fantastic Four? Uh, do you have Silver Age, Bronze Age? Um, Bronze Age is a little more common to find, but certain issues are harder to find because they are they just don't appear that often. So, um, that Silver Age comic is this wonderful, uh, incredible Hulk comic. Uh, the Hulk versus the leader, which is this guy here, and he's facing his uh sidekick or whatever and they trap him in the prison state uh but does the hulk escape but yet yeah, hulk usually escapes every prison so and uh, this is another night silver age uh comic uh 1969 i believe i uh so again i did not pay for what it's worth i think i paid uh about five bucks for this comic in, in this condition it is about 45 uh to 50 to 5 uh dollar comment because it is a silver age and i don't have a lot of silver age incredible hosts so it came out for sale in the same auction so i bought it but it again it's not in perfect condition there is some more stress marks on the front cover as you guys can see i'll show it i'll show it to you guys so yes there is some wear and tear and and as you guys can see there is some spy spine ticks here I mean, it, unfortunately, it's not perfect. Um, no older comic like this is going to be perfect. I mean, much as I like to buy 
uh, like a high nine in this, but I think it'll cost me more than I want to spend. But I'm glad to have this in my collection. Well, I'm not a huge Hulk fan per se, but uh, these several age comics were coming up for sale. And again, I just want to um, have a few older comics like this in my collection because I know uh, 10 years down the road, these comments might not exist. So uh, buying these 12 cent um, covers are very important because that, that's where your money lies. It's because it's a 12 cent comic uh, from way back when, you know it's going to be more valuable in the future. It's like money in the bank. Um, sure, you can buy RSPs, and, which I have and which I do, uh, but uh, comics will be forever uh, ongoing and the older they are, the more valuable they will become. So I think uh, buying some silver, uh, some silver age uh, comics, whether it be Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, Credible Hulk, uh, whatnot, it's pretty, I think it's pretty important as well as to have Archies and stuff like that. It's, uh, Clever should have a little bit of everything I, I would like to think, but still, it, it is what it is. We all collect differently. We all uh, collect um, what what we want. Uh, don't let me influence you. Don't let anybody influence you. Uh, just uh, collect. If you collect a little bit of everything, that's great. Uh, I I like um, collecting a little bit of everything myself. So this is Captain America number 281. Now, this is in a better condition. As you can see, this is almost uh, very fine to near mint. Uh, don't worry about this. Uh, even in this condition, it's about $3 common. I think I did pay a dollar for it. So uh, I think I did fairly good. Nobody wanted it. The reason I bought cat this, uh, well, I, I bought this because it was the only one. And I love the cover with Captain America and Bucky. I kind of with the black and white uh film film behind them so what do you th guys think are you guys a captain america uh fan or are you, are you not and this is another early uh well later bronze age i think this is 1981 i'm a bit older now i can't see that uh printing my eyesight's going a little bit but haha -ha. uh not to say i'm old old but yeah uh some some writing's getting really hard to see but what do you guys think? Am I right about this comic? Is it a, uh, do you guys like the cover for this? So what do you guys think? Do you guys buy back issues to fill your runs or do you just collect new comments because new comments see easier? Uh, again, I like the hunt of the, uh, of the finding, trying to find the back issues as well. I do think it's very important to find, uh, to find a balance between new and older issues. And also, always set a budget. I, I mean, as I say that, my sometimes I do go over than for what I should. And uh, my, even though my bank account f uh, feels it, I do, uh, I, I do work. I do save. So, and this is what I do like spending my money on. I do like uh, buying comics because I, I, I am a comic collector. I do. I've been collecting comics all my life, and believe it or not, uh, there's just some comics I never had when I was a kid growing up, and these older ones were them. So and now that I'm an adult and making a little bit more money with with working and even even having a mortgage and all of that, I can still uh, buy. I'm still happy I can buy comics because uh, this is what I like to do. Uh, we all collect different things. We all have different hobbies. Uh, for me, it just happened to be reading comics and buying comics and just having nice displays to showcase my, my comics. I do have some cool graded comics uh, back there. So yes, I even bought two graded comics, which are, you can see on my uh, shelf back there from the same auction. I bought this, but just at uh, different times, it just happened. Everything came uh, in the mail from... Uh, all at once, so I'm very happy. I'm very happy, and I and I love showcasing comics. So again, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to um, watch my YouTube video about my review for Black Adam. If you like that one, I will do. And when I see Rukanda Forever, I am going to do another review for that one. And if you want me to make uh, review movies for older movies, 
or uh, just other movies, I can do that. Just um, drop a comment if you want me to make, uh, if I have it in my collection of uh, movies, I will, I can do a, do a movie review on certain movies. I, I will do, I will do that because I think doing movie reviews is just fun. Uh, but anyways, this is a comment page. I'm, I'm Joe from Joe's Comment Talk. Uh, thank you for watching. I, I appreciate all the support and everything like that. You can find me on Twitter, uh, TikTok, and Instagram at Joel's Comments Table. And let's just have fun talking about comments. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week.